Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Um, once again, uh, we're we're facing uh, another gun crisis, which it's it's just inevitable with the sheer amount of people in the United States. It's going to be one of the hot, you know, happens. Um, and I'm definitely not taking light of the situation with the five people I believe shot with the AK-47 and I'm, I'm going to leave that alone because just to mention those high power weapons it, it can cause a lot of feelings to people um, but I'm pretty sure um, he got it illegally that's all I can say I want to say on that but I want to talk about something that's kind of actually a little funny. Uh, there was a um, a woman by the name of Bunny Gooch. Uh, the name sounds funny as it is. It sounds like a Simpson character. But anyway, um, she she robbed a bank. Um, uh, in a place called Lee Summit, which is a suburb to the Kansas City area. Uh, we, we, we are a metropolitan area, so it's a lot of suburbs. Um, and cities, you know, outside of Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City, Missouri, which are, like, next door to each other. But anyway, um, she robbed a bank and she held the person up. I think she got away with $13,000 and then she wrote, um, please sorry, I, did, I didn't mean to scare you. And it's funny, but it's not, but it is. Um, God bless this old woman. You look at the picture, it looked like my, my grandchildren did not want to come and see me. They didn't want to come and take care of me. My kids uh, let me uh, no help. <laughs> and I'm in, in this uh, Shady Pines uh, nursing facility. So for the life of me, I don't know why she's 78. She decided to become a bank robber. Uh, she robbed a bank last year. I guess she got. No, I, I think she was. Um, she was caught and put on probation. Then she got called again. But I think the story was that she was drunk. And but I mean, you have to take all all threats seriously, especially if they have a gun. She could be 78, but it don't take that much strength to pull that, that trigger, you know, so, you know, you know, you have to arrest her, uh, I hope, you know, they say, hey, she just got a mental situation, and they just gonna put, get her some help, um, but it, it's not funny, because there's no extent to the law, People say, oh, well, she's old. The other guy was old when he shot uh, Ralph Yall. He, he, I mean, I, I meant to say he was just as old, even old there, and he shot that boy um, who did nothing wrong. So, yeah, I mean, age is not a limitation to threat. Yeah, um, but I, it's, it's funny, you should uh, look at the story. I thought it wasn't real. I thought it was like a fake story. But sure enough, it, it, it is real. And for the life of me, I don't know why this stuff happened here in Kansas City uh, area. It's just the craziness of late. We've just been making national news. Um, but yeah, you know, you have to take all dress seriously. Um, I personally don't go to a bank anymore, not because of that, but, it, you know, I just don't like banks, per se. I never did, even in the 90s, where there was a lot of bank robberies. 
I just never liked being in banking a long time. Um, do you remember when going postal was such a huge thing? I, it was like, it seemed like every other Thursday there was some type of uh, post office situation. Um, I can't, it's, it's amazing what, what today it doesn't happen and what happened 20, 25 years ago was such a thing and kids only read about it in TikTok and and in history books but we lived it, we remember it. It was like a Tuesday or a Wednesday to us. So that's amazing that those things can happen. But yep, yeah, it, it can happen. Um but yeah check out the story, the lady's name, uh, Bonnie Gooch. Um, God bless the, uh, God bless Sophia, Sophia Petrillo. Uh, I, you know, and, you know, uh, nobody got hurt. So I guess that's the only reason I'm highlighting this story. Nobody got hurt. She, you know, I guess she got away with $13,000 and she won in small bills. So, um, hey, you can't, you can't say she didn't try. She was trying hard, man. Uh, you know, uh, one comedian, uh, said that, you know, she, she was trying to get away, but, you know, the cops followed her on foot and make sure she didn't break a hip. Um, her picture looked like just look like that, you know, I don't, my grandkids ain't ish, you know, they let me know in my mental state, uh, do this, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's such a thing, all right, have a good one.